I know my place is a mess, but this is the only time I've got a camera here, so got to use it while I can. Uh, this right here is my 40-inch Mitsubishi picture tube TV. It's about 11 years old, but it still works great. Uh, I'm going to replace it with a, hopefully, a larger HD set sometime in the next year, but uh, who knows. And what it's playing right now is a DVD of uh, the... New Center 8 Cleveland uh, newscast from Christmas Eve 1977, which I got on a Betamax tape someone had recorded, and I transferred it over to DVD. And uh, the sound is playing through my speakers here. You can see the center channel under the TV, which usually has a better effect than having it above the screen. And the sound is playing through my uh, Sony receiver which is the last Sony product I'll ever buy because uh, when you turn it on sometimes you get no sound and you have to turn it off for a few seconds and turn it back on to get it working but it's uh, getting uh, sound through the optical input on that uh, the recorder encodes uh, two channel mono Dolby digital for this uh, the box on top is the RF demodulator for the Laserdisc AC3 over here this doesn't look very nice either, but I'll get it cleaned up. Uh, we have playing my uh, DVL-909 combination laser disc and DVD player. It was my first uh, DVD player and I'm still quite fond of it. Uh, it's modified for no macrovision because the TV I have messes up on the top when you play a macrovision encoded DVD. And it's also encoded for, uh, I mean, sorry, modified for uh, region select so I can play all region discs on it and this is the SGT250 select division CED video disc player this particular one I got from an eBay seller brand new still in the box never been used in 24 years until I opened it down here is my SL400 HL, SLHF400 super beta hi-fi um, I bought this used at a junk shop in Sacramento and it works uh, fairly well. Uh, it plays mostly old tapes, uh, so I don't really use the Super Beta capability that much. Down here, my two VHS units. This is an NEC with uh, both hi-fi and linear stereo. Um, it doesn't work very well though, so uh, I only use it when I have to, basically. It has digital effects, but I had to disable them. This is my 20-year-old Zenith uh, VHS Hi-Fi deck, which I won in a contest in 1987, which still wor works great. I've taken it to the shop just once for cleaning. It doesn't uh, get used very much, though. And over here is my DVD recorder, which I use for transferring all my old stuff onto. It never records a TV because there's nothing on it to record. And over here we have a bunch of cheap DVD players. Uh, this is, the one on the bottom is an RCA Divix, which I bought at a thrift store for $30. Um, you may remember the failed pay-per-view DVD format. Uh, I had to have a remnant of that. Um, although the Divix disc I try to play on it actually gives me a reading error, so I don't know what the problem is there. But above that is a Pioneer, uh, I got that to play the DivX video codec for downloaded videos, but it will also play DVD audio and SACD, but my receiver doesn't have the right inputs for it, so I'm going to have to get a new receiver soon. And on top are two uh, El Cheapos, the one on top I got for free going to a timeshare meeting, and the one under that you can't really see. And somewhere under the TV is my PlayStation 2, but I'm not going to... Uh, get any junk out of the way to play that but this is my system and this is just a fraction of my CED video disc collection I have every consumer title ever put out on the format uh, as you can see the shelf bulges a little bit but uh, it's been up there a couple years and it hasn't broken yet so I don't see why it will now